I'll show you how to get your notifications, reply to text messages, make and receive phone calls, run your favorite Android apps and games all on your Windows computer without wires or even touching the phone. And we're starting right now. Hello, I'm Orman Beckles, AKA the High Tech Nomad. I create these videos because there's a lot of great technology available, but it can be difficult to understand or apply. My goal is to explain it and give you practical ways of using it in your everyday life. So if you want to learn how to make technology work for you, start now by clicking the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell icon so you don't miss a video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Microsoft Your Phone Companion app for Android phones, specifically the Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra. Now, this app has been around for a while, but with the launch of the Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra, they added some neat features. And be sure to stay to the end of the video where I'll show you an extra tip. Now, Microsoft and Samsung have been getting cozier and cozier over the last few years, shortly after Microsoft stopped making its own cell phones and Samsung realized that they should stop making software. The Your Phone app allows you to create a link between your phone and your Windows computer. Let's get started. In your notifications, go ahead and drag that down and look for an icon marked Link to Windows. Go ahead and give that a click and you'll be presented with a screen that says Link your phone to your PC. Go ahead and give that a click and it will give you a screen that is basically now saying, at this point, go to your computer and add, go to this address, which is www.aka.ms forward slash link phone. So at this point, you need to go to the computer you want to link, open up a web browser, and type in that address. When you do that, you'll be presented with another screen that asks you to log in. After you log in, after a few seconds, you'll get a QR code. Go back to your phone, shine the QR, your phone at the QR code. It'll say, connecting to Microsoft, and Bob's your uncle, those two machines are linked. Now, some people have been able to link two or three machines, so a home machine and a work machine. I've only done one machine and it works just fine. So after a couple of minutes, it will come up and say, okay, I'm set, I'm ready to go. Is it okay if I um, report some information to Microsoft? That's fine. And then I click on use mobile data. What that means is, is that it will connect to your phone no matter where you are. So if you leave your phone at home, you will still be able to do all of the amazing things that we're about to take a look at. So after you do that, it will go through a couple of things for the first time, and then it will pop up on the screen, and we're now ready to take a look at the features of the Your Phone app. Notifications. So all of the notifications will show up on this screen. When you click on notification, you'll have ability to reply to them, delete them, clear them. I have a lot of notifications, so the first thing I suggest that you do is go to Customize, and that will show you a list of all of your apps that are sending notifications to this window and you can just click the toggle to turn it off. I tend to keep on my email and messages and Facebook, things that I would normally pick up my phone to keep checking. By turning them on and off here, I get a good idea as to what's going on and it's uh, it's just super helpful to have them on your computer screen without having to go check them constantly. Messages. So similar to notifications, you're gonna see all of your messages that you have will show up on this particular screen. You can reply to them and type in a message the same as you would if you were doing it on your phone. You can even add emojis or GIFs or pictures and that'll go ahead and do that. If you need to send a new message, just click on the new message box, type in either the person's phone number or their contact uh, name or information and that will just pop up. And at that point you can go ahead and enter a message and send it right off. And again, all this without touching the phone. Let's take a look at photos. So photos is going to show you, the first time you use it, it takes a little bit, but it's gonna show you all your photos. And then once you see them, you can open it, you can crop it, you can stretch it, you can flip it, you can rotate it, you can do all these great things. And in fact, there's a very good program on there 
to allow you to, to manipulate it more. And then when you're done, you click save and that's going to allow you to save it right on your computer. Now, the only bad thing I found with this program is that you cannot multiple select pictures. So if you had a bunch of pictures you have to take off, you're going to have to drag them one at a time or open them one at a time and click save. Um, I'm sure they'll fix that because that's really a deficit apps. Now, this is one of the newer things that was just added for the Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra. I think it is now also working for the Note 10 as well. This allows you to run any app that's on your phone. You can actually run that app on your Windows computer. Now, let me be clear as to how it's actually doing this. When you open an app, uh, for example, you know, HealthSync, when you open that, it's going to actually run it on your phone and then basically show you the output you know so what you would normally see on your screen it's actually showing you that screen on your computer so it's not running it on your computer it's running it on your phone the good part of that is is that then there's no compatibility because it's running it off of your phone so if it runs on your phone then you can see it and if it didn't run you wouldn't see it at all but you know what i'm saying so it's really good from that standpoint that it will run any of the apps that you have. In any event, you can run any program that is on your phone. And as I said, it opens in that window. Even if you make the window 100%, it's only going to be 100% of the size that it normally would be. So something like Candy Crush, if you make it a, a full screen window, it's not going to actually fill up your entire screen. It's going to just make it a very big rectangular window. Now, there is one thing that you can do, which is if you do rotate your phone to the landscape mode, it will go into landscape. But remember now, your phone is supposed to be in your pocket or your briefcase or your rucksack. So you're not even sure which angle your phone is going to be, be in. But if it was something that you wanted to play in landscape, if you turn your phone in landscape, you know, turn it sideways, put it back in your bag, it will let you see it in the landscape version. Phone. Now, this one's kind of cool. What it's going to allow you to do is to place a call. It's going to actually go through your phone. Your phone does have to be near you. The other items, the photo, the messages, the notifications, the phone didn't need to be near you. It, you as I said, you could leave it at home. It will run that way. However, for the phone, it will need to be near you because essentially it's going to turn your computer into a Bluetooth headset. So it has to be fairly close to the phone in order for this to work. Now, your computer has to have Bluetooth. If it does not, or you're not sure how to use it, that's fine. I'm gonna put a link for this device down below, and this is an inexpensive Bluetooth dongle that you just plug into the machine and leave it there, and it's all set. It doesn't require any drivers. You just plug it in, it's gonna see it, and there'll be no problem. It's going to use whatever microphone that you have. So if you have a webcam, it'll use the microphone that's in the webcam. Or if you have a Blue Yeti or something like that, it'll use that microphone. So it's gonna use whatever you would normally use as a microphone. And it will use that as the microphone for the call and the sound will actually just come through the speaker. So it'll be like a, uh, a, a speaker phone call or a conference call. I promised if you stayed to the end of the video that I'd share with you a tip that I hadn't seen in any other video. And that's this, if you go into settings, you can enable the ability for it to synchronize the clipboard, which will allow you to easily copy and paste between your phone and your computer and vice versa. So what do you think? What feature of the Your Phone app do you like the most? Please leave a comment below. Now, a lot of people these days have given up their traditional computer and only use Samsung DeX, the built-in desktop mode that comes with the Samsung phones. If you wanna learn more about DeX, check out this video. Uh, we also have an updated version of DeX specifically for the Note 20 coming up soon, so be sure to subscribe and help push us over the 10,000 mark. We always thank you for your support and reaching that 10,000 mark will allow us to make better videos for you guys. So we're looking forward to it. Until the next time, this is the High Tech Nomad signing out.